Hello and welcome back to Nerdy Nerds. Today we've got ourselves some Shining Fates and I know you've all seen this set a million times but I'm still hunting that shiny Charizard. So today is all about that shiny Charizard while we get ourselves ready for celebrations on Friday. It's going to be insane, I can't wait, I've got plenty of stock coming and we should be set for most of October but like I said in my video in the past I am aware that this is a small set and it can be completed quite quickly. So you guys might get bored of it quite quick. So I'm eager to get my hands on it as early as possible so that you guys don't get bored watching other people open it and we can all have fun opening it and viewing it all together. I'll be honest with you, I've tried to stay away from other people's videos because I really want this set to be a bit more of a surprise to myself. So as much as I know a lot of the cards, I'm just super excited for the set to come and I really want to see it in my hands. So that is what Friday's video is about. Today we are looking for the shiny Charizard as you're aware and I'm hoping we get some success. If we don't get the shiny Charizard it's not the end of the world. There's plenty of other shiny Pokemon that I want but I do want to start filling up this set and start getting a master set for this set. Many times I just said set. But yeah let's pop this to the corner now. I'll see you guys over there in a sec and let's find ourselves a shiny Charizard. <laughs> Right, as you can see, I have laid out the cards here and also I have ripped up the ETB sleeve so that we have a new little background today just for just for this video. In all honesty, I never, ever like to rip these up. However, because we have so many of these and because I'm planning on buying so many more, I don't mind on this occasion, but I'll be honest with you, it did hurt me a little bit on the inside doing this. But let's look for ourselves a shiny Charizard. As some of you know, yesterday I made a video talking about Unlisted Leaf and his new uh, venture with StockX and PSA. That video is doing really well um, and I'm getting a lot of response from it. So I'm kind of intrigued to know what a lot of people's opinions are on it. This is a, yeah, this is an energy. Um, so if you guys want to go over and check that video out and leave a comment on the video to let me know what your opinions are because i'm really intrigued on what the community's opinions are on that video absolutely nothing in the first pack sorry i had a phone call right then pack number two can't remember where i was at but yeah this is going to be a longer series i think hunting for this jazz ad i originally i'll be honest with you i've been skinned for this last month and I'm probably going to be skinned for the next month until I start my new job and I'm fully on the road with that job. So at the moment, it is a little bit clutching at straws of what I'm going to open because I can't really afford all the big stuff at the moment. However, I have left money aside so that we've got celebrations covered. I'm just hoping that I'm in the right position for Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike? Yeah, it is Fusion Strike in English, isn't it? Pack number three. No shiny Pokemon as of yet. But... This is Shining Fates, and this can be ruthless, and it can also be really, really generous. So let's see if we got any luck in this pack. I do expect at least one crazy, crazy pull with one of these ETBs, but I'll be honest with you, the first ever time I opened one of these ETBs, yay, we got ourselves an Amazing Rare. Sick, there's a Kyogre Amazing Rare. Absolutely bees knees, we're going to get a double hitter. We are going to get a double hitter in Indeed EV. I'll take it. 100% I'll take it. Love that Kyogre card, though. That is absolutely stunning. I just love the way the lines on the inside of the uh, like the artwork on his arms. I love it. Absolutely love it. Charizard pack for a Charizard card. Wish me luck. Cross all your toes. Cross all your fingers. Cross your eyes. Whatever you need to do, do it for me. We are going to get ourselves a... I should guess. I did, in the last video, try and start guessing, but... I've stopped guessing. The next uh, the next energy I will guess, and I will guess it correct. You ready for this? Oh, we got a Gossy Fleur shiny Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon and a Decidueye. Let's go. We're getting places. Shiny Pokemon over here. Let's go. Into this packet. The, um, the odds of Shining Fates are a bit strange, because I've seen some people open these things and have insane luck. Oh, my God, that took all my strength, and I still can't rip it open. Yeah, I've seen people have insane luck. I've had very hit and miss luck. The Hidden Fates, when I opened Hidden Fates, I was meant to guess that and I didn't. But the um, Hidden Fates, I've always had... Well, I say I've always had. I've only ever opened one ETB and the ETB was one of the best openings I've ever had on the channel. 
Hey, Cacnea, Cacnea, and then Zaru did. So yeah, let's open the Charizard pack. Like I said, I'm looking for this Charizard VMAX shiny Pokemon, but there's plenty of other cards that I'm looking for in this set. The Gold Eternatus, I'd like that. The shiny Lapras, again, I pulled that recently with Sword and Shield, and I am very much, very much looking for the shiny version. Ta-da, Water Energy, I should have guessed. Genuinely, I'm not very good at remembering my own requests to myself. Spinarak, Qfont, a Gossy Fleur just got you, Shiny, Snom, a Professor's Research, and then an absolutely bugger all at the end. This isn't going to plan so far. I'll be honest with you, one Shiny Pokemon. We have got four packs left, so if all of these are hitters, then we're laughing. But, so far, this is letting me down. This is 100% letting me down. Come on. Don't be silly. Pow, pow, straight into his hole. Right then. Oh my god, that just stuck to my fingers. Like a skateboard. Remember those little tech decks? I used to love tech decks. I was never very good with them. This is going to be a fire energy. It's not. It's metal. Uh, I was going to do a card trick again. That's why I don't do it, because I confuse myself. Cramorant, a rusted shield. There's a gossy filet. A snom, very stupid Pokemon. That is just a butt. Just a cheeky little butt with some see-through bumps. Grookey and a shiny Galarian Stunfisk. Let's go. And then what we got at the back, I can see something. Why are we to the right of the screen? Let's get it back to the middle. And there's a Crobat VMAX. I'll take it. I'll 100% take it. That's definitely the best pack we've opened so far in this opening. Now, now, we are, we need ourselves a full art. Any full art. So... I mean, like I said before, as much as I want a Charizard, there's plenty of cards I'll be happy with. So I'm hoping I haven't been just sort of set up with bad luck because I'm specifically hunting one card. Because I'm not hunting one card, I'm hunting many. Uh, this is going to be a water energy. It's not fighting. I'm not very good at guessing. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've missed every single guess so far. Gym Trainer, Yanma, Yapinch, Yapinch, Trapinch, uh, Shinx. Rowler, you ready for the shiny? Yay! Yay! We got a Rillaboom VMAX shiny. Let's go. And at the back, there's a Yan Mega. Buzzing. Here we go. Our first big ass pull of the day. This is, like, in all honesty, this is. I'm quite happy to have at least one full art with an ETB. So if this is our only pull of the video, I will accept it. I will very much take it. A Rillaboom VMAX. I'll be honest with you, this Pokemon. As with most of the Gala starters, I'm not massively impressed by. I didn't like him in the game because when you got to the final evolution, he had a drum. And the drum was a part of the Pokemon. It wasn't like... Like in this, the drum isn't there. I wouldn't have minded it then. But in the game, the drum was constantly there and it just wound me up. Shining Fates, let's go. Last two packs. We've got ourselves a full art shiny. So chances are... That is our luck for the box. Oh my god, can he get into here? Come on. Oh my god, please. <laughs> it's hanging on the side. Right then, ready for this? This is going to be a... F uh, uh, what are we going to say? What are we going to say? Dark energy. It's leaf, for God's sake. I tried to go out of the box and it was one of the ones that were in the box. Dwaki, Cramorant, a Gussy Fleur. There's a Coffin there. A Cacnea. A Gossy Fleur, there's a Celebi, and a Cinderace. Ha <laughs> ha! You can join your other... Oh my god, I bent that. Did I bend that too bad? That's alright. Okay, jeez. Um, yeah, you can join your other mate who's another Gala starter who's also a bit of a wind-up. <sighs> to be honest with you, I'm a fire starter person. I've always been fire starter. Cinderace was my last pick in the Gala games. I absolutely... Like, Baneri... Not Baneri, what am I on about? Um, Score Bunny... Loved it. Thought Score Bunny was cool as hell. Cinderace, hated it. Um, Rillaboom, he was like, again, he had his drum, so I wasn't really sure. And Inteleon, I'm not a water type person, so I, I couldn't pick Inteleon. So I did pick originally, I picked Score Bunny and ran with Score Bunny for, I think, about. I don't know. It was literally the beginning of the game I did, and then I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want the football Pokemon at the end. So I went back and restarted the game, and started with Grookey, um, and then eventually got to Rillaboom, and I was gutted because I basically just done the same thing. I wasn't happy with the uh, the final evolution. So yeah, the Gala 
Final Evolutions are not my favourite. Oh, we've got a coffin, a shiny coffin. I'm all up for a shiny coffin. And then an Indeedy. So we started off with Indeedy. We ended it with Indeedy. Well, let's get ourselves a little bit of a recap going. Right then, the recap. So, for our reverses, which I don't usually recap, but I did when I started these videos, so I'm going back to it. Nostalgia. Reverses, right there. Here are the holographics. We didn't have a massive amount of luck. But here are the shiny Pokemon. So, we have Coffin. We also have Galarian Stunfisk. I'll be honest with you, I don't know which ones I have. I'll have to dig all these out and start looking at this collection. Gossy Fleur. There's our amazing rare Kyogre. This card is amazing. That's why it's called Amazing Rare. I love it. In DDV, if anything, that should have been in front of the Kyogre, along with this, the Cinderace. Again, I really, really want to like this Pokemon. Crobat VMAX. This card apparently is really good for competitive. Um, I will one day have to get myself set up on the uh, the TCG online just so I can get myself a bit more knowledge with the fight inside of this because I love the cards, I love how they look, I love being a collector, but I've never really got into the battle inside of things. I have had a few battles with friends, but um, but yeah, I got, I've really got to get into a bit more competitive. And then the final card is our Rillaboom VMAX Full Art Shiny. This, boys and girls... I am very happy with this. If it was a Charizard, I'd be happier, I'll be honest. But I am definitely very happy with it. And I'll be honest, the centering on this bad boy actually looks pretty much spot on. So, let me turn it around. That is one good-looking Pokemon card. So, we might actually be quite lucky with the grade in there. So, yeah, buzzing. Absolutely buzz, Absolutely buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing, I am. But, yeah. Wonderful time, wonderful news. Let's try and get ourselves a shiny Charizard in the future. I will be doing a big, big Shining Fates opening probably in the end of October, maybe the beginning of November. I'll be honest with you, we are going to complete this set. So just hold on to your hats, hold on to your shoes. We are going to go mental on Shining Fates. I'm also looking to complete Celebrations. And as you all know, I am still looking to complete Evolving Skies. So... This is very much, I'm stepping my, my levels up for this, uh, the collecting. So yeah, come on this journey with me, guys. Me and Natty are super proud of this channel so far. The only way is up, and in all honesty, guys, you guys are incredible. you keeping this channel booming. Yes, we are a small channel, but we are a small channel with a big, big heart. So that's all that matters at the moment, guys. Growth will come. I can assure you, growth will come. But yeah. Sorry for the, the weird little end into this video. I'm just really I, I'm just really happy with how this is going at the moment. I'm really enjoying this channel. Um I'm just really I'm just really happy. I'm really, really happy and I'm really enjoying all of this. So please drop a like on the video, subscribe if you really like the content, and go and have yourselves a wonderful week. I will see you guys. I'm not sure actually. You may get a video tomorrow and Friday. No, what day is it today? It's Wednesday today. So tomorrow, yeah, so Thursday. I'm not sure what video we got for tomorrow, but either way, Friday, 100%, we have celebrations. So there'll be a video on Friday for celebrations. There may be a video tomorrow, just having a bit of fun. But yeah, go and have yourselves a wonderful week. I'll see you when I see you. Cheers. If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? If you enjoyed that video, why not subscribe? It'll help me and Natty continue to do the work that we're doing, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks!